What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today we've got another reaction video for you and it's for the Hot Toys Wenwu figure that's finally got its production release. Now I'm not totally sure I'm sold on it, I'm not gonna lie. I only got a chance to see the pictures very briefly. I've tried to hold my reaction for this video specifically. So stick around if you guys like the video, hit the like button for me, smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get into it. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So again, we've got the Hot Toys Wenwu figure finally releasing. And these are the final production samples and photos that we're seeing. Now, this has been a bit of a divisive release because it's gone through what feels to me like a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. I know there are guys out there like Will Fox Vacation who absolutely loved the Shang-Chi movie, loved these characters, and I did as well. I was surprised. I didn't expect to like the movie, honestly, as much as I did. Mostly because I didn't know anything about the characters. I, I've never read any Shang-Chi comics. So for me, I went in very blind. And I gotta say, I laughed. I felt teary-eyed. There were some great emotional beats. Great story development. I loved all of the characters. I thought the casting in the film was fantastic. And the, the villain, Wen Wu... He had some motivations that I could relate to, and for me, when I think of the best villains out there, I think they have motivations that we can understand, right? Think about Thanos. Thanos, he wasn't just a big bad, he was relatable. His challenges made sense. And same with Wen Wu. Other villains are the same way, when they hit, they hit. Now this guy is not necessarily a figure I was considering bringing into my collection. But because I loved the Shang-Chi movie, I was like, maybe, you know, I I wasn't totally sure about the last release we got, the actual Shang-Chi figure. He did look like he had breasts. It's weird. I, I am having a hard time seeing past that. I was also having a really hard time seeing past some of the joints, some of the seamless or non-seamless aspects of the character. This figure looks like he suffers from some of the same challenges. But let's first talk about this head sculpt, because I know this actor, specifically across the world, is extremely popular. And I'm sure he's going to do very well in character format, figure format. But I have to say, from the prototype, I feel like it's a decrease. I know that's maybe bad to say, but I do think that the paint is good. The, the sculpt is okay. I would give it still an eight and a half or a nine out of 10. Some of those prototype images we saw were like real true shrink ray of this actor. And while I see the likeness here, I absolutely do. I gotta say, I'm still having a bit of a hard time with it. It does look like a bit of a downgrade. Now, one of the things that I find to be a little on the funny side is also the expression when it comes to this head sculpt. It's very neutral. This pose, it works. It totally works. I, I can see it. In, a, in your collection, in your six scale collection, sure, you can look like he's kind of taunting a little bit. I think that that's kind of cool. In a museum pose, yeah, for sure. It looks pretty good. When we get to a fighting pose, however, if I was throwing flaming, hot, glowing rings at a person, I don't know if I could look that calm. I mean, it may require some pretty specific training, for sure, but I don't think I would look that calm. Both of these figures look that calm, and it blows me away a little bit. Now again, you can kind of see the issue that I was talking about when it comes to the Shang-Chi figure itself. It does look like proportionally they've given Wenwu a different body, which I appreciate. As a companion piece with Shang-Chi, I like that they look like different size bodies. I think that that's appropriate for the film, but it also gives it more of a real feeling. If every character was exactly the same size in our collections, it would be a little weird, uh, a little off-putting to the eye. I like that they've done that for us. Again, I think the stoic face works. 
but not for all of those dynamic poses you might want to put this guy in. Now look at some of the detail here on the outfit. The belt here looks fantastic. The rings on his arms also look really good. You can see some vein work in his arms, which I also think is really neat. Where this figure fails for me a little bit is definitely in the elbows, as well as those wrist pegs. I hate the look of wrist pegs. And because of the way his gloves situate, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to cover those very well. Again, he's throwing around these rings here. He's looking real stoic. The photos are good. Look at the ugly wrist peg here, though, and this elbow joint. You can slide the clothing up a little bit to hide it, for sure. But it's tough to get past. And I didn't realize the seam line on uh, the Shang-Chi figure, by the way, on the neck. That is... A rough seam line. <laughs> so uh, note to self, don't pose your, uh, your Shang-Chi uh, in this particular position. Yeah, those elbows, honestly, I just can't get past them. I think with the release of newer figures nowadays, Inart's doing some seamless uh, elbows and, and arms uh, at, the, at the forearms and at the wrists. I think that's really great. Even present toys with their new Mad Max figure is giving us full seamless arms. I like that look. I'm really kind of hoping that Hot Toys starts to adopt that going forward because these to me really feel toyetic and not premium at all. Now my buddy Zach over at Collecting Weekly likes joints because he feels that you, as long as you are good at posing, you can pose them away a little bit and I'll agree with that for sure. You also don't have to worry about a seamless body ripping at those because eventually you know those tb leagues or the fison bodies often will break at those kind of movement points but the illusion that it breaks bothers me for sure look at the vein work in his arm though again that's pretty cool they've they've clearly done the work here which i do appreciate it's just the face <laughs> i don't it's too stoic it's just too stoic i don't i don't love it I will give the photographer some credit though, lately I feel like the blogger photo game has been on point. So these photos are pretty cool and they've done a good job at hyping this release up a little bit. I'm not sure what he's saying here with this particular hand, I don't remember the scene from the film. Um, maybe he's indicating his size to Shang-Chi, maybe I was... Yeah, that's about as many itchings as anybody would need, probably, right? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I know a lot of people are excited about this. I don't want to laugh at anybody that's excited about it. I am not feeling this release. As much as I liked the film, I don't honestly think this is going to come to my collection. I would almost guaranteed never use the ring display here. I don't like the way it looks in terms of plastic. I don't know how else they would do it. I have no suggestions for how else they would do it, uh, but I don't think I would display my Wenwu with the plastic. I find that these typically get really brittle as well in other Hot Toys figure releases I've had, even with some of my Soso -so Toys releases, they get super brittle after time. And so be really careful when you're posing those. It would suck if that were to break on you, especially if down the line you ever wanted to sell the figure. Now, again, just back to the likeness here, I still do, again, at the end of the day, think this looks like the actor. I do feel like it's a subtle downgrade, but not to the point where it's a deal breaker. I think if you're still excited about the figure, it's still going to be pretty cool. I know that they're coming out with a limited release version of this character soon that comes in his, like, business suit, so I think that will be probably pretty cool. Um, but in terms of the figure itself, I gotta say, unless it hits bargain bin, I don't think I'll get either of these releases over here at the Ben Thomas Show. But I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the figure? Do you guys like this? Is it coming to your collection? What do you think of the likeness? Do you feel like it's a bit of a downgrade as well? Uh, or are you like, you're crazy, Ben, it's on point, you don't know what you're talking about. I would still love to hear from you either way in the comments. Uh, but if you guys like the video, hit the like button for me, smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next figure reaction video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you again.